Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. After an exhaustive study of the numbers, it looks as if both of these coaches have a better pass play they don't like. They've made a lot of running plays that they don't care to run, but they'd rather throw the football around, both nationally ranked in passing. I don't expect a lot of ground and pound in this one. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbst. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Jackson Gutierrez is on the field to kick this one off. And everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Central Michigan staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 40-yard line, first down. made around the 42-yard line. He gets maybe two yards on the toss. That makes it second and eight. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Central Michigan's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. And he hits him hard at the 34. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Fourth and long here after the sack. Williams is back deep to return. Williams fields it at the 26, brought down at the 35. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Tries to get around the corner. Slides down. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. He's 
taken down the 19 yard line once this guy gets into the secondary he can be a real problem to bring down he can shake off a lot of tacklers who are smaller than he is it's first and ten ball on the 19 yard line Quickly to the tailback. Inside the 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. If you're the defense coordinator, you've got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive linemen. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman to tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That brings him second and goal. From the one yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, UNLV! That was a very good all around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well deserved score. And he converts the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's take a look at what's going on in the Mountain West. A tight game. Two relentless fighters exchanging blows. UNLV. Kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. UNLV's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, yeah, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Going over the middle, intercepted. Inside the 30 to the 20. Brought down at the 14. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14. UNLV is up by a touchdown. Robbins runs a counter, makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Now he's scrambling. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 13-yard line. Complete brought down, nothing doing. One yard on the play. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Gutierrez gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Rebels really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. On the run. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And they 
make the stop at the 41-yard line. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 41. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Williams is back to receive. Fielded at the 19. Got the corner. He makes it to the 35-yard line. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Seven-yard line. First down. Here we go. Green and eight. Here comes the pressure. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. There's a flag down on the field, and I'm betting that this one is pass interference. interference. Defense. Defense. That was an easy call for the Automatic official and a good pickup for the offense. Penalties will just kill you. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Calls it in. Still on his feet. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Tacks on the extra point. So a five-play, 64-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 17-0. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in the football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Runs outside for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of five yards. That, that makes, it makes it first and ten. ten.
First quarter of action comes to an end and it's been pretty lopsided so far. 17 to nothing, UNLV. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Dangerous throw, and it's picked off. Tackle at the 32. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. The halfback with a carry. And he's tackled around the 17-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. the catch and look out and he's taken down the seven yard line short yardage situation here second down and one now he tries to buy some time Quick release, tight end, incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Tackle made at the six. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's hit immediately. Almost six yards on the play action. Good job by the quarterback to put the ball right in the hands of the big tight end there. Tight end, touchdown. It's really hard to defend the pass with your back to the end zone. But it can also be difficult for an offense because the field tightens up. That was a nice play. He makes the PAT. So a six-play, 31-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. Fires it out. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 35. Scrambling around. And they got it. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. Two 
So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Wants to go long and done. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Williams is the deep man awaiting the return. Williams fields it at the 27. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. The defense has really struggled to slow these guys down. But maybe a good special teams play like that will give them an extra boost. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 43. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yards. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. Oh, what an interception. Room around the corner. Brad, this week, these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. Rose left. The running back's got it. He's knocked out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Gain of 19, 19 yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. From their own 45-yard line, first down. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Rose, intercept. No, he dropped it. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Takes it and he's tackled short. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. goes right around the 24-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Hey, check by 35. Check by 35. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop at about the 35.
from their own 35 yard line. It's first down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Here they come. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Knocked out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, first down. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. They'll go for two in this situation. They're crowding the line. He's got it for two. Central Michigan is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. So the offense will come back out Let's onto go. the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. He scrambled. Pressure coming, and they push him out at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He's hit before he can go anywhere. First down grab. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 47. From the 47-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. Got a man. Watch out here. Comes it right to his fullback. He gets hit out of bounds around the 40-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hands. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Play action. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. UNLV just took their first time out. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. He's going right. And got him! He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. Give him one more touchdown pass, his third of the half. The quarterback is just having a great game so far. He's had absolutely no problem finding the end zone. And 
he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. A real puzzle in Tucson. The Wildcats walk out with a seven-point win. You can never overlook any team any week in college football. Wow. Gutierrez has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Give to the tailback. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. And that'll do it for the first half. The Rebels lead it by 23. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by... And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. Into the 10. Heading for the corner. At the 30. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 40. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Over the middle to his tailback. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. You know, the receiver does a really nice job here in not tipping his hand and not showing that it's going to be a screen. He kind of gave a look as if he's going to go downfield and then came back to the inside, timing it up perfectly with the quarterback. And the quarterback also, he looked to play off and then came back, really caught the defense off guard, and the result's a big play. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked down. First and 10, ball on the 11. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. to go. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. He makes the PAT. A short three-play, 59-yard drive. And they put up seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. UNLV is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. That's a deal on the play. First and down. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Fires incomplete. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. 
That brings up third and ten. Williams is back to receive. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. It might not be a lot of fun, but when you're a receiver, you've got to be able to take some hits and hang on to the football. It it's just part of the game. From their own 38-yard line, second down, UNLV. Looking to add to this big lead here. Run play and he'll lose yards. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. He's at the 40, throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 32. At this point, we're talking moral victories for this defense. It's been a long day, but at least they didn't quit, and they came up with an interception here. First and 10, ball in the 32, and they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Makes the grab past the marker. He's knocked out of bounds around the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Let's go, D. Check flag 27. Check flag 27. Easy, easy, kill, kill. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's second and goal. Two yards to the end zone. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. It's picked up, and this could be a big return. What can you say if you're on this offense? You're already chasing these guys, and now you've got to give them the ball back. Not the way you want to get back into this game. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. The best way to move beyond a turnover is to score. And when you can start on the other team's half of the field, you're in really good shape to have a chance to do that. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. UNLV up big right now in this one. And he's tackled at the three-yard line. Gaining two yards. That brings him second and goal. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. Central Michigan's getting stomped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points on it. 
fires it out. And he shoved out of bounds to the 37-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. From their own 37-yard line. First down. And they make the stop at about the 49. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. the 43. Morgan makes the tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Hey, check mark 27. Check mark 27. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. down now and they need to get it inside the 41. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 42 yard line. So close but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Stephens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. On their last drive, this offense really moved the ball well on the ground. UNLV looking to build on this commanding lead here. Setting up play action, and he's leveled at the 29-yard line. Second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Ready. Green nice play fake. He's under pressure. Throws a bullet. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Nickel to punt. And this one is a beauty. He drops it. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. pass and they push him out at the 48 flag down and i'm not sure when it was thrown let's find out clipping, clipping. Offense. offense that penalty will move him back a Still bit yeah down. with so many young guys out there it's bound to happen occasionally from their own 29 yard line it's first down on the ground and the offense will recover wow very close to turning it over but they'll keep possession of the football way to play heads up out there that's just one more reason to play to the whistle Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. He 
defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Positive yardage. Williams is back awaiting the punt. for the corner and he's tackled at the 41 yard line we head to the fourth quarter and this one might be over the rebels with a huge lead Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. UNLV up big. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 43. three-yard line. First down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Tackles him hard at the 33 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Here we go. Up the middle for a nice game. Receiver. This quarterback needs to give his playmakers a chance to make plays. He's got to be sure he gets the ball in their hands. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. White was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. UNLV with a commanding lead. Here we go. Right in. He's under pressure. Now he's going to run and watch yeah. out. He gets hit out of bounds at the 13 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. This is the ninth play of this drive. Nice run there. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. They'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. He's scrambling. Well, this secondary has to feel pretty good about locking down the receivers on that drive. That makes it fourth and four. 
Number two, two Jack, Jack. Jack. quarterback. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. He's going to try and scramble. What a boost it is for this defense, knowing that they kept the offense off the board. Although in this case, the offense kept itself off the board by electing to go for it. So now that we have a first down going the other way, let's see if this offense can take advantage. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Throws in the middle, and he hits him hard at the 17. They complete the slant, good for 10. That'll make it second in inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Scrambling around, and they get the sack. The defensive end just put on a clinic that time. You know, they might want to double-team this guy with the back the next time they pass. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. It's third down and six to go. All on the 11. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. It's away and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. The Rebels came out from the opening kick and they just imposed their will in this game. Just a complete effort. You can look at the numbers, you can see that the stats show the offense has put up the numbers, the defense has done their job. It's about as good as you could hope for. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. Screen to the receiver, nothing doing. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. UNLV is winning big. They'll bring him down at the 31. That makes it first and ten. Two times, two times. At the 30, Reese gets about a yard on the play. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Now he's scrambling. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled at the 12. From the 12 yard line. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he dropped it. 
Third down, six to go. Ball on the eight-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. He's got a touchdown. What's the coach trying to prove by doing this? His team's played a great game today. Close it out with some dignity. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 43-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Central Michigan's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Brought down in the open field. First down. From their own 41 yard line. It's first down. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. the tight end again and he's taken down around the 44 yard line that'll bring up third and eight third down now and they need to get it inside the 49 we have less than a minute to go the cavalry's coming and a quick throw. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. Three. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, I remember you had nights like this. Well, obviously, he's had one of those games that he would love to forget. But at the same time, he's still winning. And at this point, he just has to avoid mistakes and try to get this team home to a victory. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. So this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Central Michigan staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week.